welcome back to my channel. This is Adventure DIY, where we're going to be DIYing some stuff today. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I have some really amazing videos coming up, including one where I show you how to make this shirt, which is something that I pinned on Pinterest, and I created a pattern from there. I'll teach you how to as well. I'm going to show you how I'm going to DIY a couple of the at-home products from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale 2020. Now, I love Nordstrom. I used to work there. I always ended up going back. I love it. I shop there still, but I am trying not to spend as much money on clothes and cute home supplies. So if you want clothes and cute home supplies, I guess go to Nordstrom or make them by yourself with me. The piece that we are going to be recreating today is this little picture that they sell at the Nordstrom at home, and I will be recreating it. So what I have gathered is I went to Goodwill and I got this hilarious picture of a giraffe, but I will not be keeping this adorable giraffe because I'm only using this white frame with the matting. I got this one because it had matting already and I didn't want to have to get matting from Joann's and like figure out how to do that myself. The other things that I got were some um, squares of scrapbook paper from Joann's. They sell them for like 79 cents or 99 cents and I got them in three of my favorite colors. The one that we're going to be recreating from the Nordstrom site is going to be this yellow because it matches this picture right here. All that you're going to need for this project is some of that scrapbook paper, a cute frame hopefully matted, but it doesn't have to be, um, and the picture that you are going to be drawing or painting or outlining. So what I did is I went onto Pinterest and I pinned a couple of my favorite line type drawings and I actually also found the one that is on the Nordstrom at home product. So basically, this is much larger than what we are going to have there. But I want to give myself a chance to mess up and fix it. So the concept is, you don't have to do any of that like putting this behind and shining a light on it because that almost never helps very much and you're never that accurate. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw the outline of whatever you're doing onto the piece of paper that you're going to use in the frame. And then once you've drawn the outline, it will leave an indent onto your paper. And then with that indent, you can use a paint pen. Honestly, I would recommend a Sharpie. This is what I have. I don't have any white Sharpies because I can't find them. But if you can find a white Sharpie, go for gold. If you can't, a white paint pen is going to be just fine. You do have to be really careful because this is not very fine tipped. So I'm lucky with this design, it is meant to be a little bit like wider. So let's get started. I'm gonna go in with the pencil because I think that's what's gonna work best. So I made sure to tape down the paper that I was going to be using to the mat underneath my um, scrapbook paper. And I would periodically check to see if I was making an indent like I wanted. If you are planning on using a paint pen, make sure that you shake it for a long time, <laughs> um, more than you think, um, so that you can get the paint moving. It's the same thing with spray paint and stuff like that. And then to activate it, you're just going to want to tap it on the paper. If you tap it a lot, a steady stream will come out of paint. This looks like enough, but it, there you go. It will get quite a bit of paint on there and we're just gonna go in and just a reminder this was considered my practice round before I actually went in on my final scrapbook paper and somehow I forgot to focus my camera once I set it over my shoulder so I really apologize for that it does look very uncomfortable so as you can see we're getting started on the line out process and then we'll jump into the paint once it is fully outlined. And as I start painting here, the one thing I did have to keep in mind was that um, the larger amounts of paint that came out every once in a while I had to be really careful with because they could glob up my design which you don't want and here I am tearing open the back of the picture frame and shortly I realized that this styrofoam was actually connected to the matting and the picture itself hey dad 
Do you have pliers? So I used said pliers to just pry open the back of the picture frame and pull out everything. And I would just put my design over the top of the giraffe. And again, I am testing on this other color and design so that I can be sure that when I do the yellow one, it will fit the way that I want it to. It's the next day and guess what? We finished it. Are you kidding me? It looks so similar. Like the other one has is square, but this one is not. And so I'm honestly very impressed to be, to be real. It looks awesome and I'm definitely gonna hang it on my wall. And to fix the back, I just cut a piece of cardboard um, to match this and I just squished it in there making sure it was just slightly too big so that then it would hold itself together with tension. Oh my gosh, Nordstrom who? We are going to do another fun DIY. We have another piece of artwork that we're going to try and dupe and so we are going to use this really cool little frame that I found that doesn't have an it doesn't have a frame, it's just like a glass thing. And we're going to be duping this image. This, I think they're Denny Designs. I just bought some fruit. We're going to cut it super thin. I've watched videos on that. I'm going to lay it out on probably a piece of white poster board. They're going to take a picture of it and we're going to make sure it looks right. And then I will get it printed and put it in there. Right, it is time to cut some fruit. I have my inspiration near me so that I can cut things to the right size and I'm just gonna go ham and cut everything to be honest. Basically the plan here is to slice all the fruits as thin as possible. I want to get a couple of the seeds out but in the end I just decided let it have seeds you know. So I'm gonna cut all of these fruits as thin as possible and then I'm going to go outside into the natural lighting with a white poster board and I am going to take some pictures of these fruits set up on the white poster board. The only thing I did run into is while I was out there it was a little too bright so I had to use um, some form of light diffuser. I used a car shade like a windshield shade that isn't super reflective but you could use um, another white piece of paper or a sheet would be really good if you could string it up somehow that would diffuse the light really really well for some reason the grapefruit that i got had like the thickest peel that i've ever seen on a grapefruit honestly if i bought this grapefruit to eat i would have been really upset because I always cut them in half and then eat them like as if they were their own bowl. But this one had a very thick peel. Um, I just decided to embrace it for the photo's sake. Um, but it w I realized it was not going to look quite like the um, picture. But if that's our biggest issue, then that I think is fine. <laughs> Okay, so once I get these cut and I go outside and take the picture, I'm going to send them off to Walgreens to be printed. Um, I really love Walgreens' same day photo printing because it was really cheap and they were having a sale. So this really is the fastest DIY I think I've ever done. And honestly, it was so inexpensive. Um, the version for Nordstrom was $30. And I think I did this for about six. You guys. Okay, so the pictures got here very, very quickly. I literally put them on the internet, on the Walgreens app, and then like five minutes later, they were like, your pictures are ready. So I was like, yes, very excited. Okay, so now all we have to do is take off the little things that hold this glass on here. Oh my god, you guys, this is so easy. Oh my god. I freaking love it. Wow. <gasps> you guys! 
they both turned out so good. I. They both turned out so good. guys so much for watching this video. I am so pleasantly surprised with how well these turned out. I figured they would be sort of easy DIYs, but these were like the easiest DIYs I've legitimately ever done. And they're so cute. I'm literally so happy. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more fun DIY and sewing videos and van videos and camping videos, those sound like a lot of things, but it's all very much in the same vein. Thank you so much if you made it this far. If you did make it this far, leave a comment saying what your favorite piece of fruit is. Um, you guys, I'm so happy. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time with this Can She DIY It type of video. Remember to subscribe because the shirt I was wearing in the yesterday part of this video I will teach you how to make one just like it. Um, that is going to be one of my very next videos. I am so happy um, with how everything turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!